Today on Psy Guys, Whoosh Bottle. Welcome to Psy Guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark, and on today's episode, we'll be making a whoosh bottle. We get to play with fire. Fire bad. Fire so good. Fire bad. So good. Bad. When a flammable vapor is ignited within a container with a small opening, the resulting expansion of gases creates a jet of fire and a loud whooshing sound. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes rubbing alcohol, five gallon jug, a long neck butane lighter, Measuring cup. And for safety, a fire extinguisher. Because sometimes this can happen. We melted it good. We did. Yeah. The safety equipment for this episode include apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes, as well as goggles and gloves. We also recommend adult supervision as we will be creating fire. You should perform the experiment in an outdoor or well-ventilated area and be careful with the jug as it's going to be hot afterwards, so let it cool down before trying to move it. The first step in our experiment is to measure out about 25 milliliters of the rubbing alcohol into our measuring cup. We then want to pour that in the five gallon jug and give it a few good turns to coat the inside with the rubbing alcohol. Now we're ready to go outside and light our fire. With your bottle coated, light your butane lighter and stick it in the top. Let's watch that again in slow motion. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. A rubbing alcohol molecule looks like this. Rubbing alcohol vaporizes extremely easily, which means it will rapidly change state from a liquid to a gas at room temperature. In a liquid state, rubbing alcohol takes up much less space than when it's a gas. This means that a very small amount of liquid rubbing alcohol can vaporize to fill our entire jug. In our previous episode, we talked about combustion and how it requires three ingredients to occur, fuel, oxygen, and heat. When alcohol vaporizes, it mixes with the oxygen in the air, giving us two of the three ingredients required for combustion and creating a volatile mixture of gases. The only ingredient missing for combustion to occur is heat. When we introduce heat in the form of the flame from our butane lighter, we are adding the third ingredient to our combustion triangle. Because the alcohol fuel is in a gaseous state and is mixed with lots of oxygen molecules, combustion will occur very rapidly. The products of this reaction are water vapor, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide gases. And the balanced equation for this reaction looks like this. If you remember from our episodes on the laws of gases, when a gas is heated, it increases in volume and pressure. The rapidly expanding, extremely hot gases produced in this reaction try and spread apart, but because their environment is confined, the pressure inside the jug quickly rises. The highly pressurized, hot gases inside our jug want to be at equal pressure with the outside environment. To do so, the gases inside our jug are rapidly forced out the jug's small opening. The rapidly escaping gases generate sound waves in the air, which can be heard as the loud jet engine whoosh sound created in this experiment. Well, that's it for Whoosh Bottle. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. And remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Fire so good. Fire not so bad. Yeah, good. Fire good. Here at Psy Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.